Menu prank. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. <laughs> Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Uh, I mean, yes, I am excited for the new game. Uh, so far, we haven't completed this, the main story, but it's been extremely interesting. I'd love to see what else they do with it. But right now, my main focus is like, I want to, I really do want to find out what happens at the end of this uh, main game. Should hopefully be really good because it's been very interesting so far. In here. Yeah. I feel that, man. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? I love what you don't the place. There's no prayer that will reach you. No mark that will break your bonds. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? I. No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Oh, before we show you, I see purple. What is this? And a multigreen, okay. Yeah, it, it's pretty good, mate. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Okay. That was the shortest audio log ever. Pretty messages. As much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed Lambert Oculus technology on the lower security door, I admit that the auxiliary data center it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just think- Oh, okay, yeah, we already know how to do that. Reiterating how to use one of these. Act the system. The goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay. Stay away from the red nodes. This one's a little bit more intricate than the last one, that's for damn sure. Oh, we start here, okay. Follow that path, Weaver. That can't be right then, okay. Uh, send it the other way then. No, that can't be right. Yeah. Uh. Uh, 
because I'm just <laughs> so I'm just using the one button even though I could use the other. I'm a special kind of special, you know how it is. Successful. Restraints evaded. Um. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. No, I will not submit. Orea, the demon is Okay, so those are two different AIs. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain Welcome. that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Probably have to get to this auxiliary facility. Answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Okay. Uh, we'll wait with silence. First about the spirit. You seem to have a history with this voice. This spirit. Yeah, an she AI. saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja, a raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. Okay. I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. How'd she do that? By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Which was? What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. Okay, so her main part, the part of the AI must be up in the, the volcano area. You had a communion with the spirit. Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Okay. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. 
but I want to. That's all I need. Okay. Yeah. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. Those are those towers that we keep taking out. And said it needed her power to do what it willed. Then she begged me for help. To find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. Oh, damn. Okay. What kept you from the spirit? After it begged for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. Ah, uh, okay. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. Huh. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. That's unfortunate. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Yeah, but only for a few seconds before the thing broke free, or before he got taken control again. Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. It's I quarter to 11. Him as I'd like to. Right now. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Yeah. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Okay. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. All right. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit. Captured somehow by the one you call the daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Yeah. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge. If you were known among the Werak... Wait, uh... Wanna make me, me chief? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You yeah. heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Yeah. Fine. Sounds like extortion at this point. Do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friends, Kuli. 
<clears throat> you help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aritak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. All right. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon. Like oh. Take it. You may find it useful. Presents. All righty then. Take the Storm Slinger. The God's name is a Storm Slinger. I don't see it here anywhere. Uh, it's in a box. Uh, okay, this weapon fires a charged bolt. Effective bolts build up a larger charge, increases damage. Interesting. What is that damage type as well? Um, swap that out for now. Hydrate, yeah, yeah. This is straight up shock damage, okay. Let's give it some shock damage then, shall we? Boom. Uh, scrap that, scrap that. Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, let's have a look here. Crafting. Ah. We need squirrel. I don't even think I've seen a single squirrel in this game. Alright, so we got multiple things that the game wants us to do right now. Is that a shortcut out of here? What's that is? That is in eyes. Feels like if I blink, my eyes will freeze shut. That is Sundra's drum. That's where the story wants us to go eventually. <sighs> that big old volcano. There's another runes up there. That's the rail part for our spear. There's the hunter challenge. Let's go towards the rail part, shall we? Are we about to take the express route? You do this? Kalabanga? Yeah! Oh, that's a scorcher. That's a big old kitty cat. More than one! Okay. You know, uh, the name sounds rather familiar, but no, I didn't see anything that happened today, really. Oh my god, kitty cat! trying to hit me. Hang on. 
effect is this against you? Ow, not very. Reach no 50, sweep. Man, they are beastly. But he was arrested by a branch of the US Postal Service? What? Add it. Does the U.S. Postal Service have the ability to arrest somebody? That sounds weird. To say the least. service that they're trying to underfund like crazy at the moment. What, what can I do for you, cat? Yeah. Give her a treat. Hold up. Uh, what should it be? Should it be uh, chicken strips or chicken filled balls? She already knows. She already knows. Yeah. Chicken strips? What's oh, ooh. Can you get away from my glass of water? Please don't rub your belly on the glass of water. I'd like to drink from that, you know? Look at her, she's going crazy. There you go. Nom 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 nom. Here. Must be the cave that shaman told me about. Oh, oh this cave's got stalkers. Either. <sighs> Dang that bit. Right, should we try that again, Weaver? Huh? That could be cool. How about we don't fall to our death? That could be an idea. Can we just. 
Why not take the cool way down anyway? There's no more for you. Blue gleam though. Nice. Why was it growing off the machine though? I don't know exactly what blue gleam is. Forget about traveling light. Right? Can I craft anything here? No. Hmm. Actually, can we do some potions, big boy potions? There we go. Oh, oh. Can't see it properly, so just scan it. Mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom. Badger, 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 badger. Honestly, I don't need any, any of that. Is this a plane? That is like a fighter plane. Whoop. I love those occasional slow-mo jumps it does. It does. Activate the console. Oh. Oh. Ah. So grounded after all. Now I can get across. Animal figurines. Just have to go up. Oh, this is Blevins. Here and screwing around with the drone routines. <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense. Of Blevins is the head of security and is an absolute dick from all accounts. So whatever this project is. It encompasses, or it, this, it, yeah. The entire region around here has been built for that very purpose. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. His voice. He's got that ugh, annoying tone. No one's touched tone. this machine since it got sealed in here. No, we don't want to go back. That's the way we just came. Bannon? Any, uh, I get it, okay, I redo. Pharaoh is Firebird's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog, okay. Circle of ass kissing, blah, blah, blah. But if you will allow Blevins to remain on site, installation is going to take twice as long as we're uh, budgeted for. So I don't know how deep Firebird's pockets are, but I can guarantee they're not bottomless. I'm just done recalibrating the entire fleet, the entire fleet, Kenny. Why, I, I imagine you're wondering. Oh, Kenny, I'm, sh I'm glad you hypothetically asked. Blevin was unhappy with the baseline potent high cat. Potential root, uh, baseline behavioral routines of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself? Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt Rottweil uh, mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. Jesus Christ. Cat, no. Over there. Goofy bastard. So he patched in the combat behaviors, which, uh, let me tell you, were not easy. Basically outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play... Uh, also, also, Blevins can play 